Kiana Bornson is 17. She was vaccinated against HPV, the human papillomavirus, when she was 11 years old. When it was first introduced, the HPV vaccine was promoted as a way to prevent cervical cancer, one of the most common cancers in women worldwide. But it can also protect against genital warts as well as penile and oral cancers. But it's expensive, so many children are not vaccinated. In the United States, it's also controversial because some parents fear it might encourage their children to become sexually active. Health experts, however, agree that the time to get the vaccine is before that happens. Dr. Simon Dobson is with the University of British Columbia in Canada. You need to have protection against HPV infections through the early years of adult life when you're most likely to be meeting HPV through sexual activity. Only about a third of children in the United States now get the vaccine. But even so, in a newly released study, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the incidence of HPV has dropped by half among teenage girls in recent years. About 79 million Americans, most in their late teens and early 20s, are infected with HPV. The virus usually goes away by itself, but the CDC says HPV causes about 19,000 cancers in women every year and another 8,000 in men. For men, it's mostly oral cancer. The vaccine is usually given in a series of three doses. A new Canadian study, however, shows that when given to children between the ages of 9 and 13, two doses might provide the same protection as the three doses recommended for those between the ages of 16 and 26. Dobson led the study involving girls and young women in these two age groups and later compared the levels of HPV antibodies in their blood samples. Two doses in girls is certainly enough to start with. But it doesn't answer the question whether that's going to be enough to get women through the peak young adult years when they're most likely to meet HPV. The researchers plan additional studies to see if young girls should be given a booster dose later on. Dobson conducted the study to see if having to pay for only two shots could lower at least one of the barriers to getting vaccinated. Carol Pearson, VOA News.